<laughs> Hello again YouTube. It's been a while. I don't know why. Um, I do know why because I'm lazy. I recently got an upgrade. I got a new camera and I got myself a new computer and a new beautiful monitor and now I have no excuse but to make the most amazing absolutely best videos ever. And I think I'm sort of scared of that. But I just need to get over that and be like, it's okay to still make a rubbish I'm just gonna talk to the camera video because it's my channel, I can do whatever I want. So I do like entertaining people. I love it when people are like, oh yeah, I love your video. It's like, stop it. <laughs> Continue. Recently, Hank Green from the Vlogbrothers channel made a video about how to make friends, which was really interesting to me because I kind of suck at it. <laughs> I guess I'm what people would call socially awkward. No, not the oh and the yolo, I'm so awkward. <laughs> but the genuinely, wow, that was so awkward and I never want to speak to this person ever again. Kind of awkward socially. I don't think I've always been this way. When I was younger, I used to be okay with talking to other people. Yes, I was shy, but it wasn't like it was, okay, this is really uncomfortable for me right now. But the thing is, I've always been in a wheelchair, so I feel like my interactions with other people have never quite been the same as it is for most people. Because you have to be nice to a person in a wheelchair. I mean, no, you cannot be mean to a person in a wheelchair. They, they can't handle it. They have gone through so much in their lives. <laughs> And if you're not, if you're not kind to them, they'll probably just break down mentally and... You can't not be mean to them. And so people have always been, you know, kind to me, which is, you know, nice. But I didn't really realize this when I was younger that it was because of the wheelchair necessarily. Anyways, when I was about 10, I had a sleepover with a friend of mine. We were talking about this other classmate of mine who I'd been hanging out with that day. And I was like, oh yeah, he's really cool. And I think, you know, we could maybe become better friends and I was gonna invite him to something. And then this other friend was like, no, um, I don't think you should do that. Because he's told me he doesn't actually like you. <laughs> it confused me at first. Why would this person hang out with me and say that, you know, we could do other stuff if they didn't actually like me? I, I And then it hit me, the wheelchair. You have to be nice to a person in a wheelchair. And I think that was the moment where it all just started going downhill. I don't need and nor do I want your pity friendship. If you want to hang out with me, Cool, that's great, let's be friends. But if you don't actually like me and don't actually want to hang out with me, I don't need you to pretend to like me just because I'm in a wheelchair and oh, poor me, I'm in a wheelchair, I need friends. No. So I think that experience has caused my insecurities and difficulty with making friends. What I sort of naturally started doing and I still do because I just sort of can't get out of it. When people ask like, oh, do you want to come over? Or oh, maybe you should do something. I'm sort of like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, if you want to, maybe, you know. Because I don't want them to feel pressured by me being really excited or whatever. So I don't want to be like, oh yeah, yeah, we should hang out if they don't actually want to because then they might feel like they have to, if that makes sense at all. And so I think people think, oh, he doesn't actually want to hang out then, you know, he's not being excited about it and then I don't make any friends and then I end up alone forever. But even though I identified this and I know this, it's like a lifetime of being this way and acting this way and it's sort of really difficult to get out of. I don't know. I don't know. Am I the only one who has this issue? Is it a wheelchair issue? Let me know in the comment section below if you have any of the same issues that I have with making friends. But if you would maybe like to get to know me better, um, I already love you because you watch my videos. So that's instant, just like, I have like a Twitter and a Tumblr and even Google Plus. But yeah, if you want to get to know me more, I'm, I'm open to friendships because I suck at making them. In real life, so I might as well make them online. This is good for me, talking out my issues to a camera. This is very healthy behavior. So until the next therapy session, because that seems to be what my videos have become lately. Outro, ah, ninja. <laughs>